Yes, Matthew. Sure, thanks a lot. I want to ask about Haiti. Um, there's online a picture of a protest out, outside, held outside one of the Secretary General's events, somebody holding a sign saying, dead 8,563, sick 704,000, justice zero. And I wanted to know, in, both in terms of that and, and uh, one of the lawyers in the, one of the cases for the UN alleging that the UN, in fact, brought through negligence cholera to Haiti, said, quote, it is an insult to all Haitians for the Secretary General to come to Haiti for a photo op when he refuses to take responsibility for the thousands of Haitians killed and hundreds of thousands sickened through the UN's cholera epidemic. So I wanted to know, what's the relation? I read all three, the speech, the, 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 all three statements put out, including the press encounter, but what, what's the response to, at this case, protesters in Haiti saying the UN is responsible and needs to in some way directly address it, different in kind than the international community as a whole or uh, what's the response, and has he taken any questions from the press while he's been in Haiti? Well, the Secretary General is about to give a press conference in Haiti, so we'll, whenever we get the transcript of that, we'll, we'll provide that. Uh, I believe he has two press conferences scheduled today, one in Haiti and then one later in the day in the Dominican Republic. And we've been putting out his, his various remarks on, on the road. Uh, regarding questions of responsibility, the Secretary General has made, tried to make it clear that his responsibility is to make sure that we're all mobilized that's to say, the Haitians, the international community, and donors especially, to give Haiti a better future. And uh, he, he's in, in Haiti in part to assure the Haitian people of his personal commitment and that of the United Nations to do all that can be done with the government of Haiti and the international community to help overcome the spread of cholera. Haiti still hosts the largest number of suspected cholera cases in the Western Hemisphere, and this situ is a situation that cannot be allowed to continue. And so the Secretary General wants to be the advocate of the Haitian people and help them achieve the future that they want and deserve. That's, that's yeah. part and parcel of why he came. I understand. What would you say, I just, if, I, if you don't mind, what would you say to those who say, like, at a minimum, the UN should, might want to consider, like, apologizing, like saying, we've looked at it, we might have brought it. I mean, it seems like there's, there remains a feeling there of dissatisfaction, at least in, case, in the case of this protest. Is, this, is that an apology, or is that just saying there's a problem and I'm gonna, we're going to help? The Secretary General has made clear that in his own tenure as Secretary General, there are few things that have upset him more than the situation in Haiti since the earthquake of 2010. It's caused him uh, considerable anguish. Uh, his heart has gone out to everyone who lost a loved one or was affected. And so he has been trying since that period to be helpful to the Haitian uh, people, and he will continue to try to do that. And is, that, is, the, is the cause of that anguish, and I appreciate that, what you're saying about it, is that the cause is that the UN brought it there? That's why there's a particular the, anguish about this humanitarian uh, on, crisis? On that, you, you've seen what we had to say, and I don't have anything to add. Yes. Yes, yes, Evelyn. Uh, yes, on Haiti. Um, is the UN, uh, well, what kind of aid is the UN giving to clean up or to ameliorate the devastating cholera outbreak? Well, there's... There's quite a lot of things on, uh, that, that we've provided on our website. I can, I can give you a, a couple of details. Uh, for example, they're launching, uh, yesterday, yesterday they launched a total sanitation campaign with the government of Haiti, which aims to scale up sanitation and hygiene interventions in rural areas. Uh, through that initiative, 3.8 million people in 750,000 households across the country's 10 departments will be supported to eliminate open defecation, access, uh, get access to improved sanitation, and adopt improved hygiene practices. And that campaign is assisting affected communities through the construction of water sources in areas of high risk of cholera, the construction and rehabilitation of latrines and water points in key institutions, uh, such as schools, health centers, and markets. And of course, the UN mission and the UN agencies in Haiti will continue to support projects to enhance water supplies in the country through the rehabilitation of water points and wells. Uh, yes, 